Tech Rabbit here. Just thought I'd go through a little bit of a network throughput issue case that I have. I wasn't going to make a video, but I thought maybe that somebody else has the same problem and might be useful to be able to know how to get out of it. Anyway, my background is a little bit, generally speaking, I upgraded to Windows 11 Pro. The version I have is 21H2. And then um, I got an opportunity to upgrade my broadband connection, so I went for a 1 gigabit um, version, um, fiber based. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a 1 gigabit um, wired network. If you'd like to see a video series related to that um, setup, then i hopefully remember to put it up there somewhere. Um, how oh, initially the 1 gigabit broadband was quite a bit disappointing because it was actually ended up maxing out around. 350 megabits per second and that was even lower than the half megabit that I had before so I had to go through a usual series of you know complain to the ISP get your case cancelled complain again you know continue and then um, the good news is that after quite a while something was adjusted or fixed so we, and we didn't get any confirmation or notification of what exactly that was but um, after that, the um, broadband started clocking uh, speeds between 700 and 950 megabits per second. Um, and this was if you connected a network cable directly to the media adapter, or um, you ran it through the one gigabit house network that I have, wired house network. So I was able to reproduce those speeds on several machines. Um, the only issue is that I wasn't able to reproduce that speed on my main machine, so my main machine decided it should max out at 450 megabits per second, and pretty much continuously around that speed. So, um, yeah, so that was needed to be diagnosed. So I'll just show you what I did. So anyway, to make things a bit easier, I was using this tool called Brun Bren Bread Buns Colon, and that's a website where you can go and um, go to test your um, broadband speed and um, this is set up by an independent well, I could say society organization uh, which is paid into by for example industry you know, ISPs and the state in our case and um, it kind of works as some kind of an independent set, sort of platform you, where you uh, can use this as a consumer to benchmark your broadband connection and then when you get the performance figures you can actually use them in your discussions with the broadband provider to um, to actually debate about whether you're actually getting the search or supposed to. because the under the consumer regulations in our region as an ISP you cannot promise stuff you can't deliver so if you would for example if I was sold a 10 gigabit connection and they only could deliver one gigabit so I, I would never see a speed higher than one gigabit then um, yeah they, they would be liable for that so can't sell whatever. They can't sell non-existent bandwidth. So let's um, run it through and see what we get. So anyway, here we get the result. Roll it up just a little bit. The figures. Here we go. So I got 680 this time, and um, 100 megabits is the upload speed. So <laughs> the upload speed has never been an issue. I always can cap out at nearly 100 megabits, and then it's 2.78 is the response time, which is actually pretty good. So the the figure on the left one needs to be a bit. Um, flexible about because it depends on what time of day uh, what, what load I have uh, going on the network to the internet and from the internet and then um, what other people have loads but I mean I yeah I would expect it to be somewhere between 700 and 900, 900 you know somewhere there I, I can take dips under 700 also it's it's uh, not, not a big deal I mean if you get a one gigabit um, broadband connection yeah you have to follow it over time how much you can get even close to that 
And then it has this tool where you can actually pick uh, what form of a broadband connection you have and then what speed range approximately is being pro promised. And then you can get it evaluated and then, um, yeah, and then it will give you this kind of like very basic um, dial that tells you if you're getting a good enough connection or not. And, and as I said, the one needs to be a bit flexible with this. The, uh, as I said, uh, in, in my measurements, this is, it, it usually lands around 700 to 900. So, uh, and I think that's, that's kind of good enough. So here I just added one more measurement as a ref. See, now it's jumped to uh, even, even, even though I d just met and did that previous measurement. And now I do this one, it's already jumped to nearly 760. So, yeah. So I can't jump directly to conclusion. Oh, you know, under 700, it's bad. No, one has to actually repeat the measurement several times and, and, and like he, during different times of the day also to be able to conclude. But anyway, this of course is good enough for testing my case since the um, restriction I had on, the, on my main desktop was that it maxed out at 450. So obviously the broadband can deliver in both of these test cases, it could deliver more um, download bandwidth than what my PC was able to take. So, yep, let's so go to the next step of the diagnostics. So anyway, the next step is to actually look at the network card configuration and that I do through device manager. And then we have the um, this one here, since I only have one network ad uh, adapter, which is embedded on the motherboard. It's this one here, because this one says that it's a Realtek PCIe uh, GPE family controller, so that's that one. And then we just take a look at the properties. And what I did in the properties is to go to advanced. And um, since I actually, Realtek is very common um, ad, uh, yeah, adapter or embedded network uh, interface on several <laughs> different yeah, generations of machines, I was able to actually look at um, con the configuration for the network card, uh, network interface on other machines. So I went through all these settings and made sure that um, on the, compared to the machine where it was getting consistently 900 megabits um, from broadband, to um, check that all these settings were the same. And, and there I didn't find any difference. But it might be a good good diagnostic step to do just in case that if you're having these problems that you, you do like I did is to compare to another machine which is working and go through these settings and, and, and can make sure they're pretty much all the same. So anyway, here's the main trick that helped me. and. Um, this was to um, put it on the other monitor here. Uh, is to go to Windows Updates and Advanced Options and then hidden here is Optional Updates and then hidden down here are Driver Updates. So when, when I actually stumbled on, on, or actually I just thought of it suddenly that um, I've, I have actually known of the existence of this section before, um, but um, I've actually never had, a, n never in my history of using it have I ever um, stumbled on an instance of needing to go in here, but anyway, uh, what Windows Update does is that it updates everything else, and then when it comes to driver updates uh, under certain classifications, it put, it just puts them on hold. It, it 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 registers them in this list, but it it doesn't um, actually uh, yeah it doesn't install them. So and the idea being that you as a user of the computer, you should notice that you have a very specific problem, and then you should do like what I've done now is so you should go into the section and then you should check through this list and see if there's a driver related that could be related to your problem and if there is then you check on the um, option and then you install it and um, that, wa that was actually the um, fix to to my my um, problem or the because after I installed this then the network adapter the 450 megabit per second limit uh, vanished so it's able to do 600, 700, 800, 950, 
So it works like one would expect, or the performance is what one would expect. So anyway, that's the how you go through sort of diagnosing an issue like this, and and, uh, and a few options to look at, like if it's a network um, interface configuration issue on a low level, or or if it was actually like in my case that it actually needed the new driver that was posted, or locked up in in the queue that would never be executed. Um, yeah. But anyway, if you found this interesting, consider hitting the like button. Um, if you like to have similar content and other types of content, then consider subscribing. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee just to pay for this video, it would be nice. Um, merch is also available. And I'll see you in the next one.